As humans, we're curious by nature, and seemingly nothing is worse than when you search for an answer and don't get one. The world isn't always cooperative, and sometimes we're left with more questions than we started with. And sometimes the question itself is so fascinating and so mysterious that it captures the hearts and minds and imaginations of even those who fail to get the answer they sought. Such is the case with today's list of some of history's most mysterious codes. So get your puzzle-solving hats on and prepare to get frustrated with history's most intriguing unsolved riddles. The Exeter Riddles In the Exeter Cathedral Library, there exists a tome labeled MS 3501 that is considered one of the most important pieces of modern English history. So much so that in 2016, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, or UNESCO, declared it one of the world's principal cultural artifacts, better known as the Exeter Book or the Codex Exoniensis. The 10th century work is an anthology of Anglo-Saxon poetry. Among the other texts in the Exeter book, there are over 90 riddles, and none of the Codex's 181 pages includes an answer sheet. Many of the poems have a double entendre, so the poems could potentially have one of two different answers, allowing the reader to speculate on exactly what was meant by the authors over a thousand years ago. SS Orang Madan. A ghost ship, also known as a phantom ship, is a vessel with no living crew aboard. Such is the tale of the SS Orang Madan, a derelict found in 1948 near present day Indonesia. Though this tale is much more modern and certainly more chilling and mysterious than some pirate legend. Reports say that a strange distress call was heard coming from the Dutch freighter, a very clear and desperate attempt for help, saying that all the crew, including the captain, were dead. Soon after the distressing message, a Morse code was sent from the ship. The message was entirely indecipherable, except for a haunting message at the end, I die. A rescue vessel arrived a few hours later and tried to hail the crew on the Warang Madan, with no response. When the crew of the Silver Star dispatched to investigate, boarded the Warang Madan, they found an undamaged, perfectly serviceable ship, but they also found the crew all dead, all with their faces frozen, mouths open, and eyes wide, and no visible injuries whatsoever. Every single living thing, including a pet dog of one of the sailors, were found in this way. The crew decided to tow the ship to a nearby coast to examine it. But the Orang Madan broke loose soon after, thanks to an explosion aboard. The ship soon sank, taking the bizarre mystery of the death of the crew of the SS Orang Madan with it to the bottom of the sea, possibly never to be found again. The Plain of Jars in Siang Kuang Laos sit thousands of megalithic stone jars scattered across nearly 100 archaeological sites. Deep in the Annamese Mountains, the northern portion of the landlocked Asian country, the jars are an unusual and to date unexplained phenomena that has fascinated archaeologists and scientists ever since their discovery in the 1930s. The Plain of Jars is dated to sometime in the Iron Age, sometime between 500 BCE to 500 CE, and is made up of at least 3,000 giant, mostly sandstone jars, with some granite or limestone jars dotted here and there, up to 3 meters tall and weighing several tons. It is assumed that Plain of Jars people used iron chisels to manufacture them, although no conclusive evidence for this exists. And little, if anything, is known about the people who carved the huge containers. The jars themselves give little clue as to their origins or purpose. And so the full story of the Plain of Jars continues to be a mystery. The Wow Signal the search for extraterrestrial life is one of the world's final frontiers, and in 1977, we may have come as close as we ever have to making contact. 
At the time, Jerry Amon was a volunteer for the SETI Institute, or the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. He was scanning radio waves from deep space when he received what we call today the WOW signal, a sustained 72-second long clip of loud noise that made his measurements spike and his ears perk up. The signal was transmitted from near the constellation Sagittarius, near a star called Tau Sagittari, 120 light years away. Amon circled the printout and wrote the words, Wow, which is how it got its nickname. All attempts to locate the signal since then have failed, meaning the true origins and provenance remain a mystery. To this day, before or since, nothing has come close to rivaling the WOW signal in terms of likelihood of coming from extraterrestrial intelligent life. The Shugborough Inscription The Shepherd's Monument in Sheffield, England, possesses a riddle that has frustrated everyone from Charles Dickens to Charles Darwin. The monument features a relief of the famous painting Arcadian Shepherds, but in addition to the recreation of the Nicolas Poussin French Baroque classic, it also features a 10-letter code, O-U-O-S-V-A-V-V, between the letters D and M, that has yet to be solved in 250 years. No one is sure where the code came from or who wrote the code either. Some speculate that it might be related to the Knights Templar and the current whereabouts of the Holy Grail. Some believe the code is from Thomas Anson, a British member of Parliament who originally commissioned the monument around the 1700s to be a declaration of mourning for his dead wife. Others think Anson or the sculptor Peter Shi may have just been pranking future generations. Linguistics expert Keith Massey believes he cracked the code in 2017. The seemingly ambiguous letters O-U-O-S-V-A-V-V -V may stand for Oru ut omnes sequantur viam ad verum vitam, which translates to I pray that all may follow the way to true life, and that the D and M that bracket the inscription stand for Dies and Manibus, which means for the mains which are mythical spirits of the underworld and is found inscribed on various ancient Christian tombs. But in order to be proven, the Shugborough inscription will have to give up its secrets. Cryptos It's more than a little unsettling that one of the world's most notable unsolved ciphers sits right outside of the CIA's main offices in Langley, Virginia. Artist Jim Sanborn created the art installation in 1990, and since then, code crackers have deciphered three of the four codes within the metal sculpture. But the fourth remains a mystery. In 2006, Sanborn dropped a breadcrumb for would-be riddlesmiths that there are clues in the first inscriptions to the last one, and in 2010 he released another clue, translating some of the numbers. But even with all that help, Crypto's final secret remains hidden. Taman Shud One of the world's most infamous unsolved riddles is that of Taman Shud. In 1948, an unidentified man was found dead on a beach in Adelaide, Australia. The man was never identified and the mystery of his identity deepened when during the autopsy, a piece of paper was found sewn into a hidden pocket in the man's pants with the words Taman Shud written on it. The phrase comes from a collection of poems called the Rubaiyat by the ancient Iranian poet Omar Khayyam, and later a copy of some of the poetry from the poet was also found translated into code in the dead man's possession. The true purpose of the code remains a mystery to this day. The Nazca Lines In southwestern Peru, there exists a series of enormous ancient geoglyphs called the Nazca Lines. These artificial creations are sort of like crop circles, except that rather than being made of corn or wheat, they're made from shallow incisions in the earth. And rather than popping up and disappearing, they've been in South America's Nazca Desert for more than 2,500 years. Because of its isolation and the dry, windless climate, the lines have mostly been preserved naturally. Much like crop circles, they need to be viewed from above to be fully appreciated. An odd feature considering the fact that no human was able to see them from above until air travel was invented. 
And there's one more big thing that makes them unique. Emphasis on big. Rather than being sporadic or solitary, put together, the more than 70 Nazca lines are made from over 800 miles of shallow trench, creating images of birds, trees, insects, and other animals, and one that looks suspiciously similar to a person in a spacesuit, so much so that that particular one has been nicknamed the astronaut. Ever since the Spanish conquistador Pedro Cieza de Leon stumbled across the Nazca Lines in 1553, they've captured the imaginations of people who have visited them. American historian Paul Cossack was the first to start studying the Nazca Lines in earnest in 1940. But even to this day, despite many theories and postulations, scientists, archaeologists, and experts have yet to uncover exactly why these massive ancient designs were created. The Zodiac Killer Perhaps no mystery has captured the imaginations of popular culture more than those of the so-called Zodiac Killer a serial killer responsible for five confirmed and possibly up to 37 unconfirmed victims total in the late 1960s around the Bay Area. The killer originated the name Zodiac in letters sent to the local Bay Area press, taunting police and terrorizing the residents of San Francisco. These letters included four cryptograms and only one has been definitively solved. The identity of the Zodiac Killer also remains a mystery, and no Zodiac murders have been identified since 1970. We've talked about some of history's greatest codes, puzzles, and mysteries that continue to stump experts. But one remains that might just be the most intriguing of them all. Any guesses? The Beale Ciphers Perhaps history's greatest remaining puzzle. The Beale Ciphers have stumped everyone from amateur code enthusiasts to professional teams to computer programs. The story goes that an eccentric and mysterious man named Thomas Jefferson Beale came upon a massive fortune in 1818 while prospecting in Colorado. He turned that wealth into thousands of pounds of gold, silver, and jewels worth roughly $43 million as of 2017, and buried it somewhere only to be found with the use of the ciphers. Only one of the three ciphers has been unlocked since the discovery of them in 1885, and the exact location of the treasure remains a mystery to this day. That concludes our list of history's most intriguing unsolved riddles. But we'd like to hear from you. What mysteries, riddles, and unsolved cases do you think we missed that could qualify for our list? Leave your entries in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please do us a favor and give it a like, a comment, a share, and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time on The Biggest.